Hey guys, welcome to Geared On For What? Today, I have a special treat for you guys. Introduce yourself to the world's largest, heaviest, toughest, 160 to 1 3D printed compound planetary gear set. That's a mouthful. What does it all mean? Let me show you. First off, let's talk about a mechanical advantage. A gear ratio is a me mechanical advantage, very similar to how a lever works. Often, a lever is used to apply a large force on an object over a very short distance, while on the opposite end of the lever, or the end that you're generally holding, um, you're applying a small force over a large distance. As Archimedes once said, give me a place to stand and I shall move the earth. The same principle applies to a gear ratio, even this gear ratio. So, for example, if you had a gear ratio that was 2 to 1, that would imply that for every two rotations of the input gear, which is this gear on this gearbox, the output gear would make one rotation, which is this gear on this gearbox. Um, this is the input, this is the output, and these two gears are stationary. Um, so for a 2 to 1, two rotations on the input, one rotation on the output, but the thing is, is that the output will have twice as much torque. Um, so th that's what the mechanical advantage is here. Two rotations, uh, double the torque, half the speed. If this was a 2 to 1. This is a 160 to 1. So for this specific gear ratio, uh, if the input gear makes 160 rotations, that means that this output gear would only spin once. But it would have 160 times more torque than uh, the amount of torque applied to the input. The problem with that much torque is that the material that I made this with, which is PLA, is not going to be able to handle as much torque or shearing force as your average steel gears are. For that reason, I've made these gears very long. Now you'll notice the gear goes all the way through the gearbox and it's solid all the way through. The problem with doing that is that as these planet gears that are inside here become longer, they have a higher chance of breaking. And, and by breaking, I mean a higher chance of breaking right right half and two. So uh, what I did to combat that is I, I made these gears hollow eight millimeters on the inside. It's actually like 8.3 millimeters, I think I made them. And then I bought some eight millimeter linear shaft and put that inside them. Um, and that should support the planet gears uh, from snapping. Now, I have really high hopes with this gearbox. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to lift up at least 100 pounds and hopefully way more than that. And the way I'm going to set up this test is I'm going to essentially wrap a rope around this output and then support these two uh, stationary rings um, hanging off of the ceiling basically and then spin this input either with a drill or else I'm going to spin it with a rope tied around it a couple times and then a loop that I can pull on to try to lift myself up with it if I think that's possible. We're just going to have to find out. So I'm currently printing the parts that I need to do that test. Unfortunately, you guys are going to have to wait a couple days to see the outcome of the torque testing. And that's because I have a few more days of printing left printing to do the things to enclose these ring gears to stop the gap on them from opening up. So let's just go ahead and be honest with ourselves. If I made a single YouTube video where I didn't spin one of my gearboxes with a drill, the whole comment section would let me know, and uh, I guess I enjoy it too. So let's uh, spin it with a drill. So there is an inherent problem with this design of gearbox when you have an opening in the rings, and that is that if you plan to spin the gearbox and you don't yet have the parts that the gearbox is supposed to fit inside, um, which would be the mounts for this one, these gears will open up, skip teeth, and the gearbox will grind the planet gears on each other because they are no longer aligned. So I'm going to temporarily fix this problem because I don't have the outside parts yet printed and uh, some zip ties around it that I've prepared just for you guys. Yeah, I'll show you guys how slow this is.
second gear. Wow, that's loud. I'm gonna wake up the neighbors with my gearbox. That's weird. Normally not the kind of thing you'd think you'd wake up the neighbors with a gearbox. Never mind. What else? Okay. So I noticed something interesting earlier today when I was spinning this and I thought it looked really cool so I figured you'd, you guys would want to see it too. So I'm going to give it a shot. Oh. Okay. Watch this. I'm not holding this ring here at all. That's how you get the rank gears on. You gotta like crank them and twist them. Okay, so this is almost a full spool of plastic. Uh, like, um, <laughs> it's a lot of weight, but remember it's got these uh, rods in it, so it weighs a lot more. But So it weighs 1040 kg? What's a kg? Who knows? Okay, two pounds, uh, five ounces. That's how much it weighs. By the way, for those of you with a 3D printer, uh, this project is available for download on Thingiverse and it's free. I'll have a link in the description for you if you want it. Hey, if you want to see the outcome of the torque and load testing on this gearbox, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to help my gear ratios reach a broader audience, hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments for me, hit that comment button. By the way, today I have a bit of extra content for you. I built a remote controlled lawnmower last fall with some motors and batteries from an old wheelchair and it didn't make much sense to make a full video of it. Um, so I figured I'd just share a small clip at the end of this video see what you guys think. Anyways, thanks for watching.